Complete. The cohort returns from the tomb, frustrated by the lack of physical samples of Necron constructs. However, the data they've gathered on the phasing out of Necron remains is illuminating it itself. Achievement unlocked. This is only the beginning. Survive the first mission. Valuable data present greater than past. Totality of human knowledge increased. Mission conclusion, conclusion positive. I cannot say I support your conclusion, Skavola. Beneficial conclusion itemization follows. Necron discorporation witness. Enemy constructs destroyed less than zero. Necron combat performance evaluated. Chances of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. My emotional cores are returning sensations of frustration and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not to be risked for the fulfillment of your desires, tech acquisitor. They are there to be risked for the acquisition of intelligence learning sacred knowledge. Your understanding equals approvable. Uh, Aaron Lozen, thank you for the raid, buddy. Muckle Douglas, well thought to be Reginald Esquad the fourth. This is Johnson Fizz Levels the third book. Was you ever losing your DVOs to the lab? Hope you enjoy your say entertainments on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers, give away everyone. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. I have no idea why this guy is at minus 10 Blackstone. Is it because he was injured? Does it take Blackstone to heal him? And then I gained some from killing these guys? And then I found some here. And Awakening plus 2%. Uh, welcome, all of you. We are currently trying out a new game. We are trying... boy! We are trying Warhammer 40k Mechanicus, which is not the kind of game that I thought it was, but at the same time, I'm, I'm digging it. Um, I thought it was kind of like XCOM or something, but it's, it's almost like there's a Dungeon Master reading to you until you get into a fight. Then it goes down into, like, you know, you, you're fighting on a grid and moving pieces around. But it's like describing rooms and stuff. Okay, so we got the heal augment and the omni specs augment. Um. Okay. All right. So cohorts. Uh, this guy. Alright, so having them with double light guns was very punishing because you're not allowed to use them in melee. And when something got into melee, he had to back up and he got hit with attacks of opportunity and took a lot of extra damage. Um, these are cool, but all require the weapon slots. Where did, oh, this would go up here. This has the healing skill. And right now, I think just the ability to kill things is the most important thing. Uh, cohorts, and then this guy. Here, just to set them apart, let's uh, put the guns on the different sides. Let me see. Uh, disci disciplines. What does that do? Unlock a unique body part specific to this discipline. Is this free? It doesn't say a cost. Y'all have a good night. Good night, Thorn Templar. Uh, we were up a little late. Unlocked a dual pistol wielder and vampire survivor and holy moly, never had a run go so well. Oh yeah, that guy, because he, ba he basically starts with two weapons and they're both quite strong. Um, that character uh, does have some major clear. Also, it's like it, the damage increases every time you, they uh, get some, a few levels or something. Uh, engine Seer Torso Augment. Add three to max hit points and plus one energy armor. Add two to max hit points and energy armor. Add one to Fizz armor. Add two to max hit points. Engine Seer Torso Augment. But wait, is this going to use up a wrench? Or did it give us a wrench? I think it gave us a wrench. Okay. Yeah, he can have more arms now. Dude, this is so cool. 
Dude, uh, I, like, you could just slap him more. The, 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 the stronger these guys get, the more freaking arms they got. Like, like, look at this. If I, if I take the axe off, and I'm just like, yeah, uh, let's put another gun, let's get my Healy arms, just more arms. Okay. Um. Auto repair restores one hit points at the end of every turn. This guy, uh, th this guy could easily be kind of our. Oh, did I just upgrade that? Oh my gosh, I was still thinking about it. Whoops. I was still thinking about it. Well, I think this guy is going to be the closest thing we got to a tank because he's self healing. All right, uh, three turn cooldown, heal two HP. All energy attacks gain plus one energy damage. What is this thing? It's a backpack. All energy attacks gain plus one energy damage for one round. Target has a 50% chance to miss you with its attacks for one round. Now you got space for the torso. Oh, the torso required a slot. I upgraded my dress. I still got one more. More attacks. Since this game doesn't really have action points. Alright, well, I didn't mean to go, you know, so gung ho on that one character and kind of neglect the other one, so this guy will get some upgrades the next time, I guess. Yeah. Alright, um. Just. Does this just... This is just a list of what you've unlocked, I think. I don't know if that actually does anything. Uh, gotta cook dinner, goodnight, Muck, and chat, enjoy the game. Good night, Galaxy. That reminds me. Um, I think Birdtree earlier said, can can I have a named character? Can we do that? Magos Menarius. Magos Tree of Bird. <laughs> Apparently, I can. There we go. All right, I asked two tech for it. Jackals, you were one of the main characters in the last mission. I think it would be, in, in Chaos Gate Damon Hunters, you were one of the highest level characters of the whole run. I think it would be fair to let somebody else have a turn. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see if anyone else knows. You were? Yeah, you're, you're medic. Uh, you, you, yeah, that's amnesia. You forgot. Yeah, you're medic. Your medic went all the way to the end. They were a hero of the galaxy and all that stuff. Let's see. So right now it'll be, it'll be Bird and uh, Jeremiah. We'll see. We'll see what goes from there. Uh, okay. So we got to pick a mission now. Two deployments. So this one gives me an arc rifle uh, and a claw. This one, cognition gauge max size increase. Okay, that seems like a really big deal. Refractor field absorbs five damage to allies in range for one round. The, okay, this this seems really important. Skitari in the tomb of Acropsis have encountered a destroyer form of Necron that uses anti-gravitational technology. Tech Inquisitor Skivola has requested a cohort in Gage Necron Destroyer so this tech can be studied. Um What? Okay, that scared me. For a second, I couldn't, like, drag it over. Um, Alright, I've only got the one can the one litany, so off we go. Uh, so I can answer your question for what I remember this game, though. I'm kind of new here, so I'll give others the opportunity. Uh, reports received from Subdomina Kepra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm yes or no. Yeah, by the way, uh, a friendly thing. So we did have a character named Birdtree in Chaos Gate Daemon Hunters. And it was just like, Aura was my main tank, and then Aura got injured, so I had to make another tank just for like one mission. And that became Birdtree. And then Aura came back and just like stole the show again. And then all of a sudden Birdtree got a pop-up saying that he was accepted to become like a paladin. And we were like, oh! And so he got, he got sent off for like two months or something to become a paladin. And he comes back and it goes, he has succeeded on his quest to become a paladin, he's super strong now. And we went to the uh, to the barracks and checked, and he was still like a peasant. And we were like, what? And Dennis. Dennis, who did not go on a journey for two months, and was just like the gun-toting guy, somehow became a paladin. It like, it bugged out. So Dennis stole all of Birdtree's thunder. 
And then Dennis went all the way to the end game. And Bird was like in storage. <laughs> it was so brutal. Correct. There have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a new Necron warform. Reaction delightful. Pray, Tech Inquisitor, explain. Enemy warform, provision designation destroyer, anti grav technology confirmed. Explorator request file accessed. Anti gravitational technology is an area Steinge's the eighth Magos has requested as high priority. Study a provisional designation destroyer, desirable, necessary, sacred duty. And you would be famed throughout Steinge's aid for exploiting this technology. Statement agreement. Request formulation follows. Oh, Commence deployment immediately. He's like, yes, I would be famous. Let's do it. Welcome to arrival. Hello. Uh, one sec, tapping out for a second here. Okay. A concentration of Necron destroyers is playing merry hell with our Skitari units in the Tomb of Acropsis. They are highly mobile and uh, heavily armed weapon platforms. Taking them on is dangerous to in the extreme. Plus, reason to observe them. Our troops possessing such technology uh, extra extrapolated to conclusion. Greatly increased battlefield effectiveness. I was robbed. Yeah. I was raised to see that as dangerous thinking, Magos. Put aside such piety... Put... that. Nah. Put such piety aside for now, Subdomita. Is the cohort ready to advance? They are. I have plotted the likely location of the destroyer units. They are somewhere within this complex. The fortune of Mars be with you. The works of the enemy, deployment number two. So I'm thinking that maybe um, each of the like people that you can you know do do, do their quest uh, has like a, a chain. I'm guessing this isn't like RNG. I'm guessing each of them has a chain. All right, only one option for this one. Uh, transmission origin Necron Xenos language study opportunity request study. Hark not to the aliens' words, lest ye unknowingly repeat them. True when Archmage Veneritus Halen wrote it, Magos. True today. The chamber is bathed in a constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be of Necron origin. Relay. Okay, so Delegate sends the transmission up to the ship for translation. But if it's a virus, that seems like that would be a terrible idea. We already got hit by a virus once. I'm going to say dismiss it. Plus two CP. The cohort's comm units are recalibrated to cut out the transmission. However, this creates a howl of feedback that alerts nearby Necrons to their presence. Okay, so there's the end. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, if I go right, right, and then either one, and then final, that's the shortest route. Monk, if you watch the Space Marine motivational videos, they're kind of scary because they almost give you a little too jacked up and went crazy uppers. No, I have not seen that, Severus. Mission relevant opportunity. Combat data on provisional designation destroyers. Acquire and ignore. Uh, this chamber is the site of a skirmish between a unit of Skitari and Necron destroyers. A few corpses, badly mauled by Gauss fire, uh, lie around a hurriedly erected flak weave barricade. What is... Is Skatari the, the, like, fodder troops? Hang on. Uh, Warhammer 40k, Skatari. Give me a second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn here. Okay. Uh, yeah, they look like little tech priest guys. Alright, so I guess that's our people. So, I, I, I guess the, te the Skatari are, like, our peeps. Um... I'm sure this will give us supplies and also waste some time. Uh, procure the Fallen for supplies. Jeez. Alright. Uh, spotlight. Cognition costs 1, cooldown 4. Become the priority target of enemies in range and gain plus fizz armor and energy for one round. Oh, is this like a taunt? It's a taunt. Uh, rummaging through corpses is a grim and demoralizing business. Though useful supplies and ammunition are recovered from corpses in surrounding area, the cohort do not relish this act of battlefield scavenging. Uh, 
How detailed can I? Oh, I can't zoom in. Lift. A single pore designed for Necron Canoptic creatures exudes from the surface. This one treated me well last time. Nice. The lives of the Logic Saints, Psalm 61, even in death, our duty is not complete. A mortally wounded Skatari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by Gauss fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight and left behind when his units fell back. It is likely the Skatari were attacked by Necron destroyers. The Skatari might have witnessed their tactics up close. Um, they're the standard troops and mechanic is. They're kind of fodder, but they can be rather effective as well. Um... Access his internal cogitators for data recorded during the firefight. The cohort inserts a data probe into the dying trooper's cortical port. The shock of extracting the data of his final moments finishes him off, but the cohort acquires several minutes worth of data showing the destroyers emerging from the shadows in perfect coordination and unleashing a fatal crossfire. They are heartened that the trooper was able to share this knowledge even at the moment of death. All right, final room, and we've got full CP because of the uh, stuff that we did. Extra Necrons in battle, again. I do like that loading screen. Intrigue, most interesting, not all forms are humanoid. Logging data, Centurion form, gravity defying. The Xenu shows they are more alien than we originally thought. Text of the Oiled Cog version 12 states one can verge from the standard form, but one must always remain their humanity or be lost to the men of iron and their ways. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, but what are these iron men? Unclear. The text was logged many millennia ago. There's no reference to them in the cogitators. Keep focus, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot, and we must ensure they do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be alert and focus. Destroy the target. Kill or destroy targets. What is the difference between kill and destroy in this case? Wait, is that a ramp? I don't know if that's a ramp. Okay, so that little crypt is opening. Necron Warrior comes out. Big fella coming over. I want to leave the path open in case someone speedier can come through. Kill equals corpse of iron destroys no corpse, maybe? Yeah, that, so we have to go, like, down this ramp thing. I'm gonna buff this guy. Tater points right now. Let's just get his stats. 18 max HP. No visible armor. Alright, this is the dude that heals each round. So it's okay to ha have him in front. Uh, this is the tankiest guy that I've got. What is he doing? being weird. I would love to just stay on this side of the wall and just wait him out. Um, however, time is on their side because as the alert raises, more and more Necrons spawn. So I cannot, like, I, I can't do that strat. What 
is that? Scan? Oh, I can't. Scan's not up for another turn. Are you running? Oh, they one-shot the one I buffed. Well, that's great. Scarabs. And another warrior. Like I said, time is on their side. There might be one left. I haven't scanned that guy yet, so I can't see his HP, so I have to just kind of gauge from looking at it. I think this will kill it no matter what. Alright, that's gone. I'm gonna buff that troop. scan this guy yet. I don't know how much energy he's got. Oh, wait. After hitting... Oh, critical. After hitting him, we could see? Alright, let's use the CP to move. Wait, what? Oh, it takes a cog point to use the axe? Oh, well, I've just put myself in a terrible... Oh, never mind. He triggered an attack of opportunity. I got to use it after all. Okay, I did not realize it took a CP to wield the melee weapon. That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, it does. It does, too. He's down. Oh, got a critical, too. He gone. Uh, I want to litany that guy, but I can't do it like that. What is that thing? It says scan. I think I have to actually physically get someone over there to scan that. All right, we're going to grab this to get a cog point. This is our tankiest fella. Axe him, three damage. All right, that's all we can do. If I had to choose someone to get hit, it's him. He gets an attack of opportunity when the tank goes to move. Might get shot now. Six. Oh my god. Brutal. More scarabs. Another warrior. Uh. What? You already fired this turn. Oh my god, he fired twice. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm confused, and this might be the death of me. Alright, well there goes my strongest unit. It's gone. I, I don't know if I get him back or if he's gone forever. I don't know how that works. Oh, I didn't know Machine Spirit could do that. Okay, so that guy's downstayed. Uh, 
that didn't do a lot of damage. Two. I guess I'll use the litany on him since the other guy disappeared. He could run in a melee, but it wouldn't possibly kill him, so. Are they going to start repairing that guy? Yeah. I, uh, I haven't seen you stream Guild Wars 2 lately. Uh, I did two Guild Wars 2 streams on Tuesday. Your Necron Awakening, they awaken one turn faster. That's fine, I can deal with that. Dudes, he keeps taking double turns. This is absolutely brutal. I This is a ranked easy mission. I don't know if I can finish this. I could run in and swing the axe, but I think he's gonna die next. I could back away, but it'll trigger an attack of opportunity. Actually, how does he even AOO? He doesn't have a melee attack. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he, okay, all right, one damage. All right. What happens now? Dude, that, that would sucked. Second mission? You get a boss that takes two turns at a time? Mission failed. The overwhelmingly strength of the Necrons and the Tome of Acropsis proves too much of the cohort. The very destroyers there to study lend their firepower to the Necron defense and the mission is abandoned in a fusillade of heavy Gauss fire. Necron combat prowess equals confirmed. So is the valor of our troops in conducting such missions. I, reg I return great regret they should fight and die for naught. Not equals false. Valuable battlefield data acquired. Phosphorism retrieval. In defeat, there is opportunity. As much as I scour my emotional cores, I cannot find such solace among the deaths of those under my command, Skevola. Now what? Have I lost all my units? Like, do I get them back? What happens? Okay, they are here. But now we're closer to the you lose the game timer. And we had nothing to show for it. That's pretty rough. 